So let's keep this short and sweet. Today I'm going to talk to you about improving your photography without spending a penny. Absolutely nothing. Just simple ways that you can make your photography better. So welcome to this video. My name is Owen. I like to take photos, make videos, and this is probably one of my favorite places on the planet, Kaldaf Beach. It's where I'm from, so I'm a little bit biased. So today we're gonna to take a brief look, I mean brief, at cheap ways, free ways, that you can improve your photography without having to spend a penny. This is for everybody. This is whether you own a fancy pants DSLR or mirrorless camera, or like anybody who has a smartphone in their pocket and just wanna be able to take better pictures whenever they go out with their phone. There's something in here for everybody. So we're gonna go for tip number one, um, which is a very, very simple one. Clean your shit, clean your gear. If you're using your phone, get it out of your pocket. Give it a wipe with your t-shirt. That's something to do. Just clean the lens off. Make sure there's no dust or grit or any of those little crappy scratches that your pocket seems to give it if you keep your phone in your pocket with your keys, which you shouldn't be doing anyway. Uh, you photographers, you don't get away quite easy either. Give the lens a clean before you set up or before you go out on your shoot. Every single shoot that I go on that's a paid job, I clean my gear before it. So it's a simple way. Make sure your images are clear without any crap on the lens or strat scratches or little pieces of dust. So now you've cleaned your lens, you're ready to take some photographs. The next free tip I have for you is look into composition. Composition is the main things that you need to know about photography. One of the most basic things that I always use is, is the rule of thirds. Now, this is like in all cameras, it's already built in, so you know you get that screen with the like grids. Once you know about composition, you can then choose to ignore composition if you get me. So once you know the rules, it's fine to break them, but knowing the rules will help improve your photography. I'd also look into filling your frame and not leaving too much negative space in your photographs because that can just distract from what you're actually trying to photograph. Next tip now, speaking of filling your frame, this one's kind of more aimed at the smartphone photographers. Don't use zoom. Don't, if you're using your phone. Um, your zoom just usually on most phones just does like a digital crop and you lose the quality on that. Crop it after. Take your photo as wide as you can on your main camera that is. If you have a wide angle camera go wide. Take your photo on your main camera. Crop it. Do the little thing. I know Google does the edit button and you can crop in after. You'll get far better results. Just a little handy one for you guys on the phones. And for my next tip, be aware of your surroundings. Be aware of where the light's coming from, what you're trying to photograph, and make sure the subject of your photo is a person. You don't want the light in the background just like pouring over them and you can't see their face at all. Light their face up. Just be aware of it. Be aware of your light sources. So we're home, we had a lovely walk out. Um, today was Ireland's like hottest day and yeah, it's been a good one. I took the day off work to just chill. To round this up now that I'm home, I've got two more tips for you. No, you can't always fix it in post. There's only so much Photoshop can do. So my tip on this would be get the shot at the time. Move that little bit of hair out of somebody's eyes. If it's a kid that you're taking pictures of and they've got snot, clean the snot. Just <laughs> get that stuff done. What would take you 20 seconds uh, to actually do on a shoot could take you 20 minutes to fix later. So just don't rely on Photoshop too much. Fix it there, not in post. And my last tip. Um, I feel like it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, go take bloody photographs. Practice, just practice, practice, practice. Take as many photographs as you can. Be self-critical. 
you'll be amazed at how much you can improve. I look at the shots I took five years ago and they're nowhere near as good as the shots that I take now. And now I'll shoot a, shoot a lot less shots and get better results. So what will happen is the more you shoot, the more consistently you'll get better shots. That's the way it'll work. Just get out, practice. So go put these free tips into practice. The only thing they're going to cost you is a little bit of time. So just practice, 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 use them. Let me know if you have any other little tips or things that you think have really helped you and may help others, comment them below. That would be really, really helpful because, hey, it's a collaborative world out there and we all want to make sure that everybody is doing as well as they can. Let me know how these tips worked out for you, if they worked out for you. <laughs> Please tell me they worked out for you. Uh, again, if you really liked the video, give it a little like, subscribe to my channel and comment below that you've enjoyed the video. Tell me what's your favourite tip. <laughs>